what's up everyone rob here with our killer outdoors um just going to finish up this top water thing today i'm going to do my buzz baits i wanted to do buzz baits on their own video because i wanted to get into the trailers and a little something i do to make my buzz bait special uh it's on the eve of the nfc championship game go birds niners are going down stick with me we'll go through these buzz baits So buzz baits. We did my other top waters the other day. Uh, I told you I'd do buzz baits in a separate video. So let's jump right into it. Uh, show you guys this one first. This is that double buzz, uh, the whopper po double plopper. Uh, it's got two whopper ploppers on top, smaller ones, and then kind of like a buzz bait where it trails behind. Haven't fished this much. Caught a couple fish on it at a pond. I really haven't put it on the open water on my local lakes. I just I don't know how I feel about it. Like I said, when I did the top waters, that buzz bait, uh, not buzz bait, that uh, whopper plopper bite has really fallen off here up in uh, Pennsylvania. A lot of people are throwing it. Uh, I thought maybe this could be unique, but I just haven't seen a need for it. So I have it. It's in the box. I'm sure there's a use for it out there. Just wanted to show you guys that one real quick before we get into it. So which buzz baits do I use? I'll tell you right now, my main ones are these right here. So these are accent buzz baits and they come in two different sizes as you can see. A big and a small. And uh, these ones have already been modified as you can see. I like to put a bend in here to get my, uh, my uh, bait a little deeper in the water. And you can't really see, but that rivet I really like to get my pliers on that rivet and bend it up pretty good. And that's what gives it this, that almost like clap, clasp, uh, buzz to it. And that's really the modification I'm gonna show you today. So these are all accents here, the three I have. I have two in the bigger or two in the small, one in the big right now. I also have some of the Guggen ones in here because I was a member, member of Carl's Bait and Tackle when they first came out. So I got a discount and they're not bad. As you can see, uh, I've thrown the black one around and I put my bend in it. Uh, one thing you can't do on these, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you this one here. See how it's straight, no bend. I'm gonna show you how I put that bend in it. So, And as you can see from the ones that I fish a lot, I usually just rip my skirts off. If I need a skirt, I always have flirt skirts, replacement skirts on the boat, but uh, I don't leave the skirt on a lot. So what you wanna do is probably a quarter inch up from the head. Let me see if you guys can see that. Quarter inch up from the head. You wanna put a bend in it. Get, it, get it bent down. Go until you get the angle you want. So right there, probably where I'd go with the angle. And then, you want to take the head, get your finger in here, bend that head back up. So, and you want that hook almost vertical, kind of like how, how I have it there. So that's pretty much how I'd put the bend in it. You just want to make sure you stay straight in line with the blade. And you can get these uh, to run straighter by tuning them side to side once you get them in the water but as long as you get that bend straight and then your side to side uh you could just play with until you get it to run straight so what that does is to me that gets the bait a little deeper in the water because when i'm fishing a buzz bait i'm usually throwing it up throwing it up tight to the bank throwing it up into lay downs and coming across the top of lay downs and stuff is that i want to get that bait a little deeper a uh, little deeper a little more attractive just something to separate myself so like I said, the second thing I do to my buzz baits, and it is possible if you want to straighten this out and take this uh, take this rivet off, you could. But as you can see, there's not much room on those Guggen ones on that rivet for me to get my pliers in to make any adjustments. So let's see if this one, this one you can see on a, the, the black Guggen, which I've thrown around, 
does have a little bit, so I'll try and show you what I'd do. I'd just get my pliers in there and bend it a little. I'm trying to get it to uh, bend that rivet. And so it's really tough on the Guggen ones, but let me show you my accents. So this is the accent. See how big that rivet is and see how I got it roughed up and bent in? So that gives it this sound. Compared to one like this, the Guggen ones that I couldn't do that on. So there is a difference in the sound and I really like that sound. That's the big thing I go for when I'm fishing a buzz bait to make, it, to make me feel like I'm doing something a little different. I put that bend in, I mess that rivet up. On these, I'd, if you're gonna fish the Guggen ones and you wanna do that, I'd recommend just buying yourself some rivets at Dick's, bending them up, straightening this wire out, putting them in. As far as what I fish them on uh, tackle, I always fish my buzz baits on braid. Uh, they don't float naturally on their own. You're gonna reel them to keep them on top of the water. So as soon as you throw them out there, you gotta start reeling. So that braid is almost never in the water. So there's no reason to have them on fluoro or mono or anything. You don't need it. The braid is not gonna be seen and you're gonna have the power and the control once something bites it. So uh, quick, I wanna talk about trailers. So. My number one trailer, I, people use buzz and toads and stuff like that. When I want to go with the buzz and toad kind of profile, I go with the Jean LaRue Biffle Bug. So, if you guys haven't heard of the Jean, Jean LaRue Biffle Bug, I'll show it to you real quick. Uh, he made these famous fishing them on wobblehead jigs along the bottom. So that's the profile. You got these two kickers, you got that long tail, and some tentacles here. Uh, and there are two different sizes. These are the juniors here. So smaller buzz bait. No, that's a full size. I lied. No, I have some juniors. Uh, there they are. So junior size, big size. I do the same thing with either one. So, uh, let me just show you what I would do real quick and I'll put it on this this uh, accent buzz bait. And I'll link these buzz baits below so you can see the exact ones I use. Um, first thing I do if I'm using the biffle bug, get rid of the tail. So now I got my kickers and I'll actually go a little further and take these tentacles off. So now I'm down to that. And I don't have scissors out here, but I'll do it with this. Snip just that front portion of the head off. And I'll show you why later. So the biffle bugs, if you didn't know, they're actually hollow inside. So that's why they work so well on the back of a buzz bait to me, because they, they naturally float already. So I'll thread this on like I would any other trailer, but I keep that hook down inside the hollow part of the biffle bug and I bring it all the way through, not hooking it at all. So I'm coming right out the back of the biffle bug there, right through the hollow part. So I wanna wet the head. I'm gonna slide my whole biffle bug straight up over the head. And that's why I cut that front piece off. So see that? I'm all the way up over the head of that with that biffle bug on. And there is a keeper in there. Now I'm locked in. So I don't even... So right now, I'm just pure bait on the back of that. And that's how I like to run them. And you can see that they're the perfect size that when you get up over on the bigger one here, that the tails are right where they need to be on the hook. And everything's perfect. So... That's my biffle bug setup on them. Uh, I'll show you another couple of trailers that I like to go to. If you don't like the biffle bug, want to try something else. Uh, missile baits, the twin turbos. Show you what they look like. 
So they're just a, a crawl style, except they have a really skinny body and they're two turbo kicker tails. I like that one behind my buzz bait as well. Another one, if you don't like any of them, would be either the Billy Goat or the Goat from Z-Man. See both of them. So it's just got a heavy body and a split tail with good little kickers on it. And Z-Man plastic, it lasts forever so you could get it on anything. And it floats already, so it's already helping your buzz bait. Uh, you will have to trim, if you use the billy goat size, that down a little bit. There's no way you're going to get this whole thing on there and uh, have enough hook. So you'll have to cut a couple segments of it off to do that. Um, leave that up to you guys. It's not, I like it. It's not my favorite trailer. It will fight the bait a little bit at times, but it is a good option behind there. And one, if I'm going bait fish, and this, you guys might have heard of this. I don't know if you guys have thought of putting it on a uh, buzz bait, but uh, a 10,000 fish makes a Yoda worm, it's called. So let me pull them out real quick and show you. This one's already open. So this is what the Yoda worm is. It's a flat, straight tail worm. And when paired with one of these buzz baits, you cut the head off and you run it up there. You have a tail back there that can uh, put a lot of action into it. It's not gonna fight and make your your uh, your bait run sideways. So like I said, I'd probably cut it off there, run it all the way up, and then leave that tail back there to do its thing behind. So. It's another option if you're trying to imitate uh, bait fish or something like that. So I'm not gonna keep you guys any longer. That's it with my buzz baits. Um, like I said, I like those little modifications I do just to make that sound a little better, to make that buzz, uh, get that little bait a little higher in the water. Uh, anything you can do to be unique and make your bait stand out, I think is always a good thing. And like I said, I ripped the skirts off most of mine. If you want to fish it with the skirt, no big deal. Uh, so, hope you guys like this. Uh, almost done with these tackle videos, guys. So, uh, I appreciate everyone watching and following along. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care, guys.